family, welcome and thank you for being here on this important day. We are gathered together to celebrate the very special love between Karen and Carl by joining them together. This is an opportunity for us to share not only in the joy of love, but also to reaffirm and appreciate the love and the friendship we experience in our own lives. May we all celebrate by being fully present with Karen and Carl. May every desire you have for your love be fulfilled. And may you be given the vision with which to clearly behold one another, the listening with which to perceive one another most genuinely, and the endless generosity of spirit with which to nourish one another and sweetly keep the promises you make here today. From Corinthians. If I speak in the tongues of men and angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor, and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. And it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. 
Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned.